Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. So in my previous video, I have shown you that how we can do some basic Android pen testing. So if you haven't checked that video out, then go ahead and check it out. The link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. Now in this video, we are going to particularly focus on reconnaissance techniques like how we can dive deep into the application, right? We are not going to focus on any vulnerabilities in this video. But we are going to see that how we can dive deep into the application and how we can understand the application more deep so that we'll be able to find bugs later on. And also for those who don't know about our website, which is bepractical.tech, then you guys are missing a lot. So we have just released the labs, the old lab that we have already on the practical on our official website now. So you can just go ahead and uh, open your browser like this and just go and type bepractical.tech like this let's wait for a few seconds and as you can see here it is here we have this lab section wherein all these labs are based on real world scenarios and are particularly focused on account takeover vulnerabilities right so we have jwt labs so that you'll be able to understand that how we can explore jwt vulnerabilities we have some basic labs of how we can use the website's misconfiguration for account takeover vulnerabilities right so go ahead and check them out if you want to like for example if i want to go to lab 2 just click on this and then we'll be redirected to this lab 2 and now what we need to do is we need to look for the vulnerabilities to get the uh, account takeover of the admin right so if you are interested then go ahead and check it out the link is as always given in the description and now with that being said let's get started right so in my re recent pen testing i have found an application that was showing a 403 forbidden error when i was visiting it directly right upon further content uh, enumeration i found some endpoints right but those endpoints were not that much you know uh, juicy right they, they were just static applications right so in that case i have tried something which resulted me in PII information disclosure of that particular application. And th that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So stay with me. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to open our terminal like this. And here I've already started the lab, right? And now the second thing that we want to do is right over here. We want to let's go to sudo so that there won't be any issues. Let me just log into sudo real quick. That is now what we want to do is we want to install an awesome tool which is known as CEWL, CEWL, right? You can just type sudo apt install CEWL and minus y, right? I'm going to tell you what this tool does, but first let's try to install this. So as you can see, in my case, CEWL is already the newest version, right? Now, here we have this application. Let me just open it on my local host so that you guys will see what this application is. This is an application, right? So it says that healthcare application, and this says that an application designed for this particular group, right? Ozika group, right? Something like this. Now, as always, let's try to dig, deep, uh, dig deeper, and let's try to find some vulnerabilities or find some content first of all in this particular domain, right? So I'm going to do dir search minus u, and then I'm going to paste it like this. Let's hit enter and let's see what happens, right? As you can see, the directory enumeration has been started, right? So we all uh, usually do directory enumeration like this, right? So let's wait for a few seconds till the scanning gets complete, and then I'll get back to you. As you can see right over here, we have scanned this application for some hidden contents maybe, right? But dir search was unable to find any content on this particular application right now this can happen to you as well that you are trying to enumerate contents on a particular application but you didn't get any juicy information but in those cases you shouldn't be giving up just now right you should dive deep into the application now you may be thinking that how we can dive deep into the application right so many times what happens is the application the developers basically uh, creates their own directories right create their own endpoints with some unique names right that is unguessable by any word list or any you know uh, uh, directory enumeration tools right in those cases there are two main options the first thing is if you can try to go and use uh, 
uh, get all URLs or way back URLs, right? Then it's good if you are able to get it. If the, if not, then there is another tool which is CWL, which is we have just installed, right? So this tool is used to get all the words from a particular web pages, right? So what I'm trying to say is, suppose in this application, we have this healthcare will be counted as one word, this application will be counted as two word, second word, sorry, this will be counted as the third word, fourth word, and so on, right? So what this will do is, this will allow us to create a word list specifically for that particular domain, right? And if we are able to get any information or any endpoint, from this particular endpoint, then we can combine our reconnaissance technique of the previous using the word list as well as the C the seal generated word list, right? So we can combine both of them to get better result. Let me show you what I mean by that. So first, as you can see, we have this DIS search which didn't work as we have expected. Let's clear this out and let's try to use CWL, right? So this is the syntax. We can just type minus minus help. And as you can see, this is the whole flags that we have uh, available to us with this application. We can you go with minus K to uh, keep the downloaded file and we can do a bunch of things, right? We can also provide the authentication user and passwords, right? So this is actually a pretty cool tool. So let's try to see how we can use that. So let's type seal and let's type localhost like this. And let's hit enter. Wait for a few seconds, and as you can see, it has generated the word list for us. So in this case, you may be thinking that the words are quite few, right? So we have got quite few words, so we didn't didn't need to use any tools, right? But in real world scenarios, for example, let's say we are testing on this application, we have a bunch of new uh, word words right over, here, right? We have V, add, B, practical, right? We have so many words. So in these huge applications, this tool will be very useful for you. Like if I want to use this on B practical, what I can do is I can type seal HTTPS B practical dot tech just like this. Let's wait for a few seconds. And as you can see, we've got all the words from this application, right? Now, what we are going to do is we're going to save these words to a file. So let's go and see how we can save this. So let's go and use the localhost and I'm just going to save this like this. So let's say words dot text, right? Let's wait for a few seconds. Let's type cat words. We have all these words. We have this extra uh, banner information over here. Let's try to get rid of this and just get rid of this like this. Let's save this. Now we're good to go. Now let's try to use this word list against our target so we have where, where target is localhost let's try to use this so now this time i'm going to use ff because it's more reliable for me we can go with puff minus u specify the url localhost let's check first let's specify the word list words.txt we're going to say match everything except 404 and 40 right Let's hit enter. Let's see whether this time we are able to get any endpoint or not. Let's see what will happen. Let's hit enter. As you can see right over here, we are getting something, right? As you can see, we've got one status 200, right? Which means that this word, this, this company name was actually used in the endpoint, right? See, this is the thing that I was talking about, right? So normal world is don't have this uh, potential to do things like this, right? They have presets of predefined sets of words that they're going to try, right? But if you're using serial with this particular tool, then it will be very great for you. And it will definitely result in more uh, endpoint, more asset. And therefore, it will automatically increase the chances of getting your vulnerabilities, right? Now, let's try to visit this particular endpoint of Zika. Let's copy this. Let's paste this right over here. And as you can see, we were able to get the credential, which was admin and the password. Now maybe we can use it, right? So this was just a demonstration. And this was a similar scenario in which I've used this same technique to find PII information on that particular target, which I cannot dis disclose, unfortunately, but I will try to create a video on it, right? So for this video, I hope that you have understood that how we can use CWL to 
generate custom word list on based on the particular web page right if you have any doubts if you have any issues then feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section also do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going under cyber security as well as web development and if you like the way i teach then i am currently running two courses the first one is bug bounty the ultimate guide to hunt account takeovers where we are going to learn that how hackers can find misconfiguration in a particular web application that will result in taking over anyone's account without the victim's interaction right so this course is also fully practically demonstrated demonstrated so if you are interested then go ahead and check it out the link is given in the description the second course is hacking windows with python wherein you're going to learn that how hackers create their own custom tools that can be used to hack any windows machine that can bypass any antivirus till now right and that can use to do a bunch of interesting and malicious stuffs cool stuffs i may say that for example you can execute system commands you can upload and download files and you can do a bunch of cool thing cool things right so if you are interested then go ahead and check it out the link is also given in the description for this course as well and now with that being said keep learning keep hacking and thanks for watching